Hey guys, it's Anna with Am Equestrian and today I'm going to show you how to brush your horse's tail. So the first thing you want to do is you always want to condition and detangle your horse's tail because if you don't, you're just going to end up ripping out a whole lot of tail and if you brush it every day, you're going to end up with no tail. So, I use this. It's olive oil. I buy it at Walmart in the hair section. It's just normal human um, olive oil spray. It just works the best and it's the cheapest. So you want to start at the top and spray down and you want to get the entire tail. You want to make sure, so you're going to start at the top, you're going to spray down. You want to make sure that you're getting literally every part of your horse's tail. Nice and detangled in condition so that way you're not ripping anything out. So I'm just going to grab it in sections, get to the inside, spray all the way around my horse's tail on the back of it, on the side of it, just working my way around and down his tail. You cannot overuse this stuff, so don't be afraid to get in there and get it really, really, really wet. Okay. Now the one thing I do want to let you know is do not use this on the mane if you're planning on braiding it because it makes their hair very slippery and your braids will not look very pretty and you will get very frustrated. So now that his tail is conditioned and detangled, I can grab my mane and tail brush. I just use this normal one. You can get a tractor supplier, Dover or online but you want to start at the bottom of their tail and work your way up to the top brushing through. You want to start down here to get all the tangles out. The reason that you want to start at the bottom and work your way up to the top is because if I started at the top, you can watch how much my brush stops and pulls on his tail. That does not feel very good. But if I start at the bottom down here and I hold his tail, He's not feeling any of this. And if you have a daughter in the house or you babysit, you will know when you go to brush a little girl's hair. If you do it this way, you will get met with the least amount of arguments. So continually just doing small sections, brushing the tangles out of his tail, slowly working my way up. I want to brush his entire tail. So you're going to, I'm brushing in like a circular motion around his tail. So front, side, back, and then switch sides and the back on that side. And then work my way up the next section, front, side, back, and then side, back. And then I'm now at the top. So I'll let go of his tail and brush my, run my brush through it on all those motions. Now I've gotten all of the tangles out and the way that you can check that you did a good job is you can just randomly run your brush through it and if your brush goes through the tail really easily, that means that you did a good job and his tail is now completely finished and brushed. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If it was, please hit that like button and that subscribe button to see more informational videos like this one in the future. And thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to always stay wonderful.